with around seven sneak peeks being released since the 20th of December 2023 for the upcoming confirmed 2.0 update for SCR. In this video, I will be giving my predictions for this update and my own theories. Do note that my theories may not be true. This is my general opinion. Please don't hate me over my opinions. Anyways, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. You're watching Transporter Sim 20 RBX. Hello everyone and welcome to my SCR version 2.0 prediction video. As I stated in the introduction to this video, I'm giving my predictions for version 2.0 updates. I'm going to split this into a few categories. The first will be what's confirmed, the second will be some speculation to the update and my general theories for this update. We're going to start with the confirmed stuff for 2.0. So everything that is in the sneak peek channel after the 20th of December 2023 is so far what's confirmed for 2.0. With 7 sneak peeks being released from an upgraded GUI two upgraded stations and trains. So, in the first sneak peek, we received a sneak peek of what seems to be a new HUD. We can tell this is a new driving GUI for some obvious reasons. One, the signal can be seen in the GUI, and so can the next stop and the distance to the next station, including the head code. Some stuff in is the train you're actually driving, the unit number you're driving, the route you're operating, even the platform number for the next station, and finally, the distance to the next signal. Overall, when first seeing this sneak peek, we know it's going to be a major update coming, and more stuff will be coming in, in this update after Toby's message in the sneak peek says, a whole new look for a whole new system. We originally thought this would be 1.11, until this sneak peek. Looks like SEO has released another sneak peek for the second part of the driving GUI. We also can see the door open and close button, horn, pantograph, camera, map, schedule and AWS are still the same in this update. However, some interesting stuff we've seen is we've got what seems to be a door interlock button as we've got two doors and a lock symbol on there. The speedometer has had a significant change with a small red line indicating the line speed, the blue line showing the current speed limit you're going and the green line showing the upcoming speed limit. We can also see the line speed and the current speed are shown in, the, in this part and finally this brake and throttle are separated. Another thing to note is when I just said we originally thought this would be 1.11 I literally thought about it as it wasn't a station upgrade or a mesh train upgrade but after Toby's message saying a whole new look for a whole new system in the first sneak peek, it does give a kind of feel that it is going to be 2.0 as the GUIs were being redone. It looks like SCR sneak peeks have stayed very silent in the weeks from the 20th of December 2023 to the 30th of January 2024. We got one sneak peek here which shows this time a station upgrade. Most of us have speculated this to be Edgemead, as the platform layout is similar to the current Edgemead we know today. Another thing is to note that Platform 2 will no longer be a terminating platform, as it seems to be the signal at the end of Platform 2 is not there heading towards Stepford, plus there are yellow stripes which are mainly for the fast trains which skip the station at 125 miles per hour. We also got the new benches which in my opinion look whole much better than the original benches. A one stop close to the destination of a fully meshed fleet. After so long, the class 309 has been meshed. Nothing much to say about this, but we obviously can see the new benches are in the station, and something I bet a few of you don't know, if we look closely into the cab of the class 309, we can see what looks like a place for a physical guard panel. Now we know this is in the other newly meshed trains, 
I will come back to this later in the video because I've got a bit more of an explanation about this. Another station upgrade? Well, this time we've got an upgraded station which has four platforms, one terminating and three through platforms. This station is owned by Stepford Express and there are two stations in SCR that are owned by Stepford Express which are Lake Stepper Road and West Wyvern. For an instant notice, this station cannot be Lake Stepford Road as it is in a middle of the city with this one having a small rural feel to the station. We can also see Matty Studios Class 66 on the right with some new sidings on the left. It seems to be Stepford Connect Fleet will be fully meshed in 2.0 as we finally got the Class 321 meshed which is a vast improvement to the next generation version 1 model. We can also see the new overhead line catenary is also present in the station which means Lim will not get an overhaul or into 1.0 but platforms could be extended to allow longer Stepford Connect Express trains in the station. There are the new benches shown again. There's a tiny thing you may have seen in this sneak peek. I was the first few to notice it. I will come back to this later in the video in the speculation part. Right then, the most recent sneak peek to be released. I have absolutely no clue where this station is. We've obviously got a train we've never seen in a game before. It is the class 1.618 unelectrified branch. I'm not sure where it could be. Either a new station or a upgraded station. Who knows? We'll have to find out nearer to the update. We're going to move to the speculation part. Are you kidding me right now? Seems to be like SCR has released yet another sneak peek. How lovely. Anyways, here we get got another new train for 2.0. This time for Waterline. In my recent SCR sneak peek video, I have speculated this to be the class 313 with the high back seats that are included in the train's interior. This train could replace the 508 seeing as the 508 is third rail and the 313 is overhead and third rail plus the 313 and the 508 are quite similar trains like the 365 replacing the 465. We're going to move to the speculation part for this video. I will be using the SCR wiki for this on the dedicated SCR version 2.0 update page under speculation part. I won't cover all of them as two of them I have not much to say. The first is passengers to have the ability to open and close doors. This is a feature that was announced back in summer 2021 and a showcase part for Transport Tech 2021. With the footage I got from the prototyping centre which is available to have a look right now, link is in the description. Also, if we see in this sneak peek, there are two types of door buttons instead of one. Also, if we see in the West Wyvern station upgrade sneak peek, we can kind of see the class 397 has not got all of its doors open. Another thing speculated is the garden system redesign. In the 2GY sneak peeks, there are no guard related buttons. Also in the class 319 sneak peek, we can see what looks like a physical guard panel box. It could be redone, or not, who knows. The only people who know are devs, which will have to find out near the time. Also, two things related to the trains is the addition of the class 745 and 880X trains. Since 1.9, we have seen in some stations having extended platforms, such as Morganstown and West Wyvern. In 1.10, we have seen stations in the airport area have got massively long platforms with some of them having stop car markers for 9 to 12 car trains. However, in the Saints Bridge upgrades, new 745 markers were added and when the IETs were remeshed, there was markers for 9 to 9 and 10 car 80X trains. However, Stefford Depot and a few other depots will need a rework. And some of them can't accommodate 12 car trains, such as Stepford Depot. Leighton Depot, Apple Parkway Depot, Coxie Bypass Sidings, North Shore and Vamier Green Depot. 
it could be upgraded to 2.02, maybe extending the roads. I'm not sure, we'll have to find out. Finally, new depot, depot and siding facing towards Millcastle at West Wyvern. If we look in this sneak peek, we can see a depot signal in the very far left. It does sound quite interesting actually having a siding in West Wyvern instead of having to use North Shore and turning around at Lynn. Now the theories part. These are all my own opinions and this is what I personally think what will happen in 2.0. Some sources will also be included from developer responses or the sneak peeks. Now for version 2.0 with these 8 sneak peeks now. Is it enough so far? Clearly not. Version 2.0 is set to be a game changing update. Confirmed by Operations Director Games Otto aka Ben. Community Director TJH44 aka Toby has also stated that this will be a big update. Meaning we're going to expect more sneak peeks to the version 2.0 update. Now I'm not an official developer for SCR so obviously I don't have the accurate information as I'm a sigler after all. First off the main menu. The design has been similar since 1.0. From a few touches since then, the background has been the same since version 1.4 when Express came along. Now, why is I bringing this up, you may ask? Before version 1.0, there was a completely different main menu, and in 1.0, the menu was revamped. This brings to my theories that version 2.0 could bring a needed menu revamp and maybe the new SCR logo to be included as the old one is still there to this very day. The driving system. We obviously know that's going to be changed in 2.0 from these two sneak peeks. However, many of you would say that the speedometer and watch this line shoot straight up. Well, it's time to move over to Twitter. I'm a very good in Twitter then. <coughs> As we take a look at Bantex tweets from where the movement system was completely broken, if anyone doesn't remember, here you go. Bantech has made several tweets about SCR in May 2023 when the movement system was completely broken. One tweet made by him gives some speculation to the stuff. Physics are different. More realistic, taking into account incline with, and with throttle and brake being selected a bit better. O option to control him directly in the future. New UI. Remade doors so we can enable individual open slash closed by passengers guard selects which door to be the lo local one my theory from what Bantech has said there is obviously going to be a change to the current physics so this could mean the acceleration and the acceleration could be much different to the current arcade physics which comparing SCR to BR BR's physics are much better and more realistic. This is also set to change for SCR. Even Games Auto has said for himself that he is struggling in testing. So let's wait and see how different this will be. Dispatching? Another thing that I presume that could get changed in 2.0 is the way how dispatchers work. If we see it in this sneak peek, there's a hidden secret in there. 
I'm going to give you five seconds. Haven't found it. If we zoom in to the authenticator on platform 8 and go a bit down, we can see a small box. What is it? You may ask. I went to SEO General and wrote this. Anyone found noticed this in today's sneak peek? This is what I got. Yes! Soap dispenser? That's nothing! Hand sanitizer dispenser? Yeah, I don't know what that what it is. Hand sanitizers in SCR. Off! The benches are being rewrapped as well. Wait, what? One of the supervisors have said this. Yo! It's like TRTS box thingy for dispatchers. This image attached from the supervisor shows what it semi looks like. I've seen a dispatch box in real life at South Victoria. Unfortunately, I couldn't get an image as I usually just pass through the station. Pre 1.0 dispatching was a bit different. So it's nice to see dispatching is to hopefully be redone in version 2.0. Trains. Now we obviously have seen the recent two sneak peeks of a upgraded class 309 mesh and 321 mesh. Which means the 508 is the last next gen train around so far. Until the 313 sneak peek, that is. However, but as I already stated, this is going to be probably removed in version 2.0. Unfortunately, the third rail only trains maybe vote kicked out and face a similar fate as the 465 and what the 508 could face. Games Auto has stated, we've replaced the 465 with the 365 as the 365 uses a pantograph, which is what is in game and will eventually support. Overhead wiring, whereas the 465 uses third rail which the game does not have. To be honest, it would have been a nice to have third round in the game, but the limitations, limitations to where it can go, that's the problem if it's, it was like a third rail, only like one third rail line. That's why most of the trains are electric overhead wires, basically. The class triple four and four five eight could suffer the same fate, sadly, as I never heard of them having a pantograph. The class 707, did have a pantograph from what I've heard, but only a testing. Recently, we got this sneak thing showing an unknown station and an unknown train. The unknown train is a class 156, and I've stated this earlier. One of my theories is this train could replace another train on step ten. I'm not 100% sure on this, as I'm obviously not a developer. We will just have to wait and see. Upgraded stations. So far, we've received Two sneak peeks of upgraded stations, Edgemead and West Wyvern. However, since this then, we have not received any further station upgrades. A theory I came up with is the Lynn Line will receive an overhaul, excluding Lynn by the Sea, as in this sneak peek, yeah, it wasn't changed apart from the benches and the overhead line equipment. They could be going around the network and replacing the existing overhead line equipment with the newer models. However, in this station thinking, it's quite confusing. We all think it's an upgraded station or a new station. If this was an upgraded station, then I'd say Hampton Park. But as it doesn't, it doesn't look like a branch line. Plus, them did the electron a line, and or the new station. I'm not sure what to say, but if it was the Stepford Loop, if not, we all don't know. It's a big mystery and we will have to find out and wait. Anyways, I don't think this update will come out in April and simply we haven't received enough sneak peeks, clearly at the moment. But into the early summer? If not, we'll just have to find out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.